Hi there, this is a tutorial for the new multi-tap game. I did make a tutorial last year when we first let people have a look at it, but it has changed, the gameplay has changed a little bit, so I've made a new one. Okay, I would recommend when you're watching these tutorials that you watch them on a big screen like a laptop rather than a phone because there are a lot of details you need to be able to see. Right, you can see there, there's a multi-tap game, I'm gonna click on that, and here's the round settings. By default it's set to two points which compared to the keypad round is quite low but what you've got to realise is there can be up to six times two points on a multi-tap game so that means you could actually get 12 points per question. You'll also see that if I change that slider the speed bonus points moves automatically. That's a new feature called auto bonus so you don't have to think about it, it just sets the optimum bonus points. So having two points on a multi-tap game is probably similar to having say six points on a keypad round. You'll see here I've got some devices and you'll also see that when we're on this game settings page that these devices are rotating around some instructions how to play. If you want to give them more details whilst they're looking at that you can click on there with that little book there where it says show game rules and you can read this out. I'll read out an instruction for example tap only the US states. The list will contain one or more correct options. Two points and a green tick will be awarded for every tapped and every untapped correct answer. A full complement of green ticks is called a full house. Only full houses will be eligible for the speed bonus points of three in this instance. Now previously when I did a tutorial there was another line that said you must press at least one. That isn't the case anymore, no longer do you get penalised for not pressing any. You can actually score points by not pressing anything now. Which does improve the game and make it a bit easier to explain. Okay, click that, start the round. Okay, so as you can see, similar to a keypad round, there is a blue line under the last word. So I'm going to read it out and hit the blue button at the same time as saying the word books. Tap only the non-fiction books. So you'll see there all the options have appeared on the screen. Unlike a multiple choice keypad question where you're expected to read all the options out, that isn't the case on a multi-tap question. You just allow people to read the options off their screens. So you'll see the answer start coming in quite quickly. Okay, as you can see there, it says there are three full houses and three partially correct scores. I'm going to hit the blue button when I get to the blue line. The Diary of a Young Girl by Anne Frank. A Brief History of Time by Stephen Hawking. How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. I hit the blue button. Now, don't worry if you don't understand what's going on here too much. It makes absolute sense to the players once they've played it a couple of times. So you can see here it says there were three full houses. Uh, there's a full house, meaning they've got all green ticks because they pressed the ones they were meant to press and they left the ones they were meant to leave. Another full house there, another full house there. Then here we've got what you call a partially correct score. So they were right to press them too, so they got two points for each of them and a green tick. They shouldn't have pressed them, so they didn't get any points, and they should have pressed that, so they didn't get any points for that. This one here, they pressed them all, but they should have left them ones, so they didn't get any points for that. Now, the colours on your host screen mean something, but you don't have to worry too much about what it is. But I will explain it, and it has changed slightly since the last time I made a tutorial. I've swapped the orange and the blues around. So, the greens and the oranges are the full houses, so you can say they've got 12 points, they've got 2 points for every tick, but they also the green one is telling you also is that it's a full house, but it also got speed bonus points. The blue ones are what you call partially correct scores. They've got 4 points, 6 points, and 6 points. Okay, so I'll read what's on the screen. For the fastest full house, three bonus points go to Melly Melly Chester. Let's have a look at another one. Tap one of the numbers that are multiples of seven. Okay, they appear on the screen. The answers start coming in. There are two full houses this time. You can see that's the green one and the orange one. Uh, the correct answer is 14, 63, 49, 175. So looking on here at the green ticks, I can see there's the full house and there's the full house because they've got all green ticks. This team managed to get zero points, which rarely happens. That's because they pressed the two that they should have left and they didn't press the four that they should have pressed. Three partially correct scores depicted in blue. They got six points, four points, and six points. Now the important thing to notice here is this team multi got four points for not pressing anything at all. So it is now possible to get points without touching the screen at all. So what I'm going to do now is add a new feature. It's called wipeout mode. 
and you see that you get the graphic on the screen. Wipeout mode, if you've played keypad round, it's a little bit like um, evil mode. What we would recommend in a multi-tap round is you turn it on halfway through and go back to the rules there and read out the bit at the bottom about wipeout. One or more tapped incorrect answers will result in a wipeout, meaning zero points for the whole question. So if in doubt, don't tap. So what that basically means is if you press one that you shouldn't, you won't get any points for the whole question. So exercise caution. Okay. From these politicians, select only the ones that have been Prime Minister of the UK. The answers start coming in. Okay, you can see there is one full house and three partially correct scores, but it says there that there are two wipeouts. The correct answer is Margaret Thatcher, Boris Johnson, Harold Macmillan, John Major, Edward Heath. So we can see here, there's your full house. B, John Prescott, is the one that shouldn't have pre been pressed. Partially correct score, they're fine because they didn't press B. Here we've got a wipeout, which means that these, this team pressed them all, but because they pressed B, they don't get any points because that's a wipeout. Here's another wipeout, they got some of them right, but because they pressed B, they didn't get any points. And you've got your partially correct scores, so long as they didn't press B, they still get the partially correct scores. Uh, for the fastest full house, three bonus points goes to the worst. Okay, it's a lot of fun. It looks more complicated than it is. By the time this tutorial is released, you should be getting multi-tap questions included in your activations. Multi-tap only works with version 5. Make sure you've downloaded version 5 off the website and read all the tutorials about version 5, SQ Pro version 5. Thanks for watching.